What's up, everybody? How we doing, y'all? There's so much craziness going on in this situation. I rather make a sound. I rather make a sandwich. Like I said, I would rather make a motherfucking sandwich. I am not trying to get involved in the bullshit and the monotony and all the craziness. What's not? I rather make a sandwich. And that's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna do. We're gonna, um, of course, make a quick pickling for the vegetables that's gonna go on this sandwich. Everything has been wiped down and washed well it's not, and we're just going to make a quick pickling. You know, let's cut red onion. Let's do some thin. Let me slice red onion. So it is. That in the trash bowl right there. The waste bowl. Let's peel. What's up, baby? How you doing? Hey, Michelle's daughter, baby. What's up, chocolate baby? How you doing, baby? You're good. You're going to be good today. And we're going to just, you know, loosen up the red onion rings right there. Just going to do a quick pickle of these red onions. Take this part of the trash out right there. And we're going to do a quick pickle of that. Let's put that right there so I don't have to keep on reaching all over the place. So I'm going to pickle the red onion. I'm going to pickle the um, cucumber. Pick those two things. I'm gonna cut this cucumber on this bias. Kind of thin, you know what I'm saying? So they can actually get that, you know. I'll tell you what kind of sounds we're gonna make in a second. Put that. I'll be called. I'll also be nasty. What's up, Jaden? How you doing? Down the hill. What's up, um, Mimi? Baby, how you doing? Everybody, how y'all doing, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Thank. Oh, um, that wasn't for me. That was for Chocolate Bay. So I can't be thanking you for that. What's up, Fifi TV? Baby, how you doing? Right now, we're just doing a quick pickling of the vegetables, and in this pickling, we're gonna use apple cider vinegar. It's really quick, so I'm, I do this first so it can take on the flavors of this stuff while I am actually, yeah. We have apple cider vinegar, about a quarter of a cup, sorry, half a cup, I should say. We have some cayenne pepper, um, cayenne pepper to make it a little spicy. A little bit of that in there. You want to mix this around a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that everything is being coated, everything is being dissolved in there. Got a little bit of juice on my computer. That's not good. We want to make sure that everything is immersed in the pickling liquid. It's a quick pickle now. It's a quick pickle. Normally, I would boil it like that. You're going to use some black pepper. Oh, I forgot. I forgot one ingredient. We're going to use a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt, of course. I think I one thing, y'all. I'm getting some sugar. <laughs> you good, Mimi, baby. You good, Mama. You good. You good. You good. Right here, you use a little bit of sugar in that as well. You know, just let that get all there right there. This is for a sandwich, y'all. This is for a sandwich. It's going to be a nice sandwich, too. Not one of them rinky dink regular sandwiches that, you know what I'm saying, people may be used to eating. Let's taste this little liquid right here. Make sure it's spicy enough, sweet enough. Just a little bit because I'm telling anger. It's all, while it's good for you, you want to make sure it's not too crazy. Cool. Um, hey, Tessie, baby. How you doing, sweetheart? Okay. Now we're going to, let's cut this avocado first. Okay. Yeah. Might as well eat this little bit of, um, cucumber while I'm, I'm working, right? I'll have to eat it up. Put down a knife. Always works safe for you guys. You know, if y'all was in here, I'd be holding a knife in my hand trying to take this little wrapper off this um, avocado. 
not rapper, just little tag. Mm hmm. Hey, really, DTV, baby. How you doing, sweetheart? Everyone else in the room, you tired, baby? I'm tired too. Cherise, baby, how you doing? Poison Ivy, what's up, baby? How you doing? So, I know how to cut avocado, right? Just cut it down the middle. And just turn it around the knife. And then you just twist it. And you have a piece of a nice piece of avocado. Do we want to keep this in right there? We're not gonna use that one just yet. Same spoon. Go around the avocado. And it should come out nice for you. And there it goes. You know. Avocado. It really is. Okay. Turn it on its side. I'm just going to cut. Cut. Come on now. Work with me, people. Work with me. Mm. Avocado is nice and creamy. I'm gonna slice it. Gotta wash my hands after this. What's up? Hey Chantal, baby, how you doing, baby? Chilling. What you eating today, really, baby? baby? You always have something good to eat. What are you eating, baby? Okay. Now. It's okay. What you want to do with the avocado is you want to actually salt and pepper the avocado as well. You know, you don't ever want to, all your layers of food. I washed my hands after I finished with the avocado last night. But you always want to salt and pepper the avocado and you want to keep the same flavors that's consistent throughout your dish, whatever you're cooking, be it just a regular sandwich or be it your meal itself. You want to keep the same flavor profile and all that. So, yeah. Some pepper each layer, each side. Bring this up. That right there. So yeah, what's been going on besides the nonsense going on on these YouTube streets? Make sure you get a ripe tomato when you're using tomato on your sandwiches. And really thin slices because you don't want it to be all bulky and crazy on your sandwich. Nice thin slices. I'm making two big sandwiches, you guys. Hey, Davina, baby. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, well, that wasn't for me, but how you doing, Davina? Thank you for talking to me in my chat. Good. Boo. <laughs> Y'all know I love it. Ibe does that. Y'all know I love it. Ibe does that. Boo. Okay. So, once again, you want to um, season. Hey, the other side of four, baby. How you doing? Shantastic. What's up, baby? So, I rather make a sandwich, baby, and then watch this bullshit that goes on these YouTube streets and give y'all something else to um, look at besides the nonsense that goes on on these YouTube streets, baby. You know, I like to switch up a little bit, give you a little different content. You know what I'm saying? Some of us are creative enough to do shit like this. You know, some of us are... Ooh, hold up. You know, I'm going to eat, eat, eat this little bit of tomato. <laughs> yeah, it is a nice tomato. It is a nice one. No, you know, I'm, I'm talking a good old country boy. My mom is from um, Greensfield, South Carolina, so you know, a little bit of some uh, raw tomato with a little salt and pepper on it ain't gonna hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna knock you. Check 
Wash my hands, y'all. Clean this next to godliness. I don't think I'm gonna need um ooh, see this low. I don't think I'm gonna need this knife anymore, so I can put this to the side. Put everything else. Okay. My lettuce, like a little bit of lettuce, you know what I'm saying? A couple things of that right here. Let's use three leaves just to make sure. I lied, y'all. I'm cut off the ribs of this lettuce because I don't want, you know what I'm saying, that part of the lettuce to be all in the sandwich, just, just ripping my bites of food. You know, got our lettuce right here, you know what I'm saying? Nice and pretty. Let's put all this over here. Mm-hmm. Just that right there. Cut off the ribs, of course. All those that they're not tough, it's just I don't want to deal with it in my sandwich. Makes the sandwich bulky. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting low because that's how you can see me what I'm doing and actually see for as well. So you have these veggies right here. You have these pickled veggies right here going on my sandwich. So now let me put some of this stuff out of the way, you guys. Give me one second, please. I know I should have everything down, but the table's not big enough for all that. Don't want to plop down like I did last time. Okay, now we got some space, got some room. Okay. My bread, we're doing a four meat um, sandwich with a marble rye bread. Sure. What's up everybody, how y'all doing? If you like this video, please like this video. So this is a marble rye bread right here. Told you I'm doing some big sandwiches. So I'm going to, whatever I don't eat, I'll just wrap up. This is also dinner, y'all. This is the first meal I had all day. I need to stop doing that. I, I just washed my hands, you guys, so I'm not just touching everything without being clean first. I like to get the end of the bread right there, so nice marble rye bread. And it's just me and my husband, so. I'll be quiet. I'm going to be nasty again. Y'all won't be nasty. I won't be nasty. But y'all know what I'm thinking. Y'all know what I'm thinking. Put his mouth on other things. I'm just saying. So have I. So, yeah. Nice piece of mar marble rye bread, right? Nice piece of marble rye bread. <laughs> hey, Kendra, baby. How you doing, sweetheart? Okay. So, I like to turn it over. Boom, boom, that's that. And I'm using two different types of um, sauces. I'm using a um, horseradish sauce because I'm using the different meats are um, ham, turkey, chicken, and roast beef. I think it is. Those at once. So I'm using, I'm going to put one type of um, sauce on one side. And that was the horse radish. I'm using a stone ground mustard as well. Hey, Miss Quinny, baby, how you doing? Baby, I was up and running, sweet. Don't do that, Kendra. I'll make you a sandwich, baby. How about that? Come get a sandwich. I'll come bring it to you. Don't be like that, baby. Don't be like that. Y'all see how she be doing me? Y'all see how she be doing me? So, yeah, I'm using 
the whole grain mustard, sorry, yeah, the whole the stone ground mustard on the top of both sandwiches. And I'm using the horseradish on the bottom of both. Hey, I bay baby, how you doing, sweetheart? Buh. Guh. <laughs> I use it earlier, so I have a, might as well use it when I see you. So, yeah. So, as you can see, both sides of the bread is um, done. So, you put that there so the stuff can stick to it properly and stick to it like it's supposed to be. You have your lettuce right there. Use that little half right there. Use this little half right here, then take that little bit right there, and put that little bit right there. You see, cut it off so it's nice and neat, y'all. You eat with your eyes first, you eat with your eyes first. Even if you're doing it for yourself, by yourself, you still eat with your eyes first. Put that little bit more right there, eat with your eyes first. Okay, that's it right there. So what should I do next? Okay, let's do cheese. We're using two types of cheese as well. We're using a, y'all know I like to use my teeth to open stuff, but I'll be not so ghetto. <laughs> I'll be not so ghetto. So we have Kobe Monterey, Kobe and Monterey Jack is one cheese we're using, and Mansour is the other cheese that we're using for the sandwich. So, let's put that right there. This cheese right here, y'all. As y'all know, I was at work today, so all I did was went to the store after work, and I was thinking sandwiches, soup and sandwiches for dinner, because I'm cooking, I don't know if I'm cooking tomorrow or Monday, since I'm off Monday, but I didn't want to have anything big and have all this leftover food when I can just, this is easily, you know, make a sandwich and have it delicious and nutritious. Come on now, come on now. Try not to, let's see, look at you, playing. Try not to do too much. So, got my cheeses right there. Cut the cheese. Okay. And I'm still have, I'm gonna cut this cheese up right here, so y'all can see that. Cut this cheese up. Just cut it in diagonal. Just cut up in diagonals. This is a thin sliced cheese, so you don't want too much cheese on it. If you don't want cheese on it, you don't have to have cheese on it. So, now, tomatoes first. Two slices of tomato on each. Tomato, remember the tomato already had the salt and pepper on it, you know what I'm saying? So, it's really going to be delicious, that right there. Put a couple pieces of avocado on this as well. Avocado. That's how much avocado we have. We have to cut the other piece. Throw more avocado on it. No, we, we're good. We're good. Avocados. And you want to drag it on with that salt and pepper. Let's not get all the salt and pepper possible on this avocado right here. Mm -hmm. That little piece right there. Since that was a small piece, so yeah, that's not, that was more than enough avocado. Okay. Okay, what else we need? Oh, I forgot to 
the let's put the cheese on now. So how, well, I cut it up in two, so we can have this right here. So you see how that cheese is covering the whole surface of all that right there. Mm -hmm. Sure is. So you get the most cheese possible in every bite. Let's cut up this piece, this cheese as well. Cause yeah, we just cut it up, y'all. We do all that. I'm an artiste, y'all. I'm artistic in everything that I do. Mm -hmm. Avocado, yeah, don't say that. That's not nice. Then you just go the opposite way with the other thing. I didn't like avocado either initially. I told y'all that before. I think I told y'all that before because the texture of it doesn't match the consistency of the hardness of the avocado. But I like avocado on sandwiches. I like avocado on um, this right here is the roast beef. I want to not have it flat, but you know, have it kind of piled up on each, on each other. I think three pieces, since we have um, four different meats, I think three pieces will be more than enough for a nice size sandwich. Don't you think, y'all? Three pieces will be more than enough, y'all. See, just, you know, kind of like pile it up right there. Three pieces is more than enough. Yeah, be more than enough. That's the roast beef. Y'all see why I don't do uh, videos online with cooking? Because it takes me all day to prep stuff and get stuff together and have stuff look the way I want it to look. That's why I say I need the right proper editing equipment to do all this properly online. But you know, oh, this is right here. My face. The boy's on the line, y'all. The boy's on the line, okay. Let's see. There we go. Them thighs are strong, y'all. This thigh is called it. And thighs are strong, y'all. Thighs caught it. <laughs> and this is what? Like, turkey? No, this is the chicken breast. This is chicken breast. Chicken breast. It's the chicken breast. I don't use these little containers for my storage stuff, for my crafts and stuff like that. All my beads and stuff like that will go into this storage. Now, this is the turkey breast. No, let's do Black Forest ham next and then turkey breast. We still got the vegetables to go in here as well. The pickled vegetables, I should say. Y'all laughed at me when I said the thighs are strong? <laughs> Y'all a mess. Y'all know I don't care. This is 
the ham, y'all. Y'all see the sandwich starting to look? It's on the turnout, y'all. Y'all see the sandwich? The sandwich, y'all. Better than a damn press sandwich from damn Subway, I'm just saying. Press your own damn sandwich down. Build your own damn sandwich. Be independent. Do the shit that you want to do. So I'm looking for people to take care of you all the time. Yeah. You know, I'm a big advocate for independence. I'm a big advocate for people doing their own thing, their own way. Now. Last meat, y'all. Something delicious. Mm -hmm. What's this right here? And with this lettuce right here, I can use this meat to make like a cob salad. You know what I'm saying? Use the cheese, use the meat, use the tomatoes, um, add an egg, a boiled egg to it, have a cob salad. See, you gotta be able to multitask and use stuff in multiple different ways. Ooh, this turkey is so tender and breaking apart. It'll work, it'll work, it'll work, it'll work. Okay. Do that right there. Now, the reason I do the, the I'm not standing for this, y'all. I'm gonna stand up for this so I can look inside this thing. Turn my hands up a little bit. Use this fork, trash bowl, these cucumbers, and onions, y'all. Just And also this pickling, this quick pickling I, I did on these vegetables. You know how sometimes the sandwiches you get at the um, delis was not have like that um, oil and vinegar on it? This is another way to get that juice and that flavor without actually using oils on your thing to make the bread soggy. So there's another way of doing that. Just the quick pickle right here. Just thinly slice red onion, thinly slice whatever vegetable you want. And you can get that same flavor and the same vinegary bite that people so crave on their sandwiches. So yeah. Is that right there? Mm -hmm. and then a little bit of cucumber as well. Come on now. Put the onion right there. Kind of high fry. Mm-hmm. That. That. Okay, I've got enough to put three on here. Cool. That. Right there. right there you know it's gonna be a good sandwich look onions and stuff y'all onions 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 i'm at home everything's good now you just take the side of the bread press that sandwich down right there mm -hmm. and this right here kind of puts as a glue right there let's press that sandwich down right there y'all now let me clean up right quick. I'm gonna get everything together so we can eat this scrum deliciousness food. Cause we got some uh, accrued moms with it as well. I'm not supposed to do a plain sandwich. What it looks like? I'm one of them people. Y'all know what I do. I gotta have a whole situation going on. A whole situation. Put all the cold stuff in the refrigerator. Crispers and stuff, make sure that nothing goes bad so I can use it again. And right there. 
take these dressings, the sauce right here, right there, right there. Y'all be right back with y'all. Please don't, don't leave me, people. Don't leave me. I represent I'm calling because I'm calling those bad. You know, once the air hits or whatever, you know, they don't, it doesn't take long for our colors to go bad. So I gotta make sure that I wrap it up nice and tight so I can do it for my cough salad if I get hungry tonight later on tonight. Mm -hmm. That's wrapped up nice right there. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? And then this right here. Y'all sorry. It's out the way. Out the way, y'all. That's right there. And now, okay. Let's cut this up. Go on the plate and wrap it up. See how that sandwich look right there? Might that look good? Don't that sandwich look good? Chips up. Okay. Some chips. These are queso chips. A nice queso chip. Hold up. Don't be going nowhere. Mm hmm. You want to put some chips? Give me the chip, give me the chip, baby. Give me the chip. And you can't have a sandwich without having a pickle or two to accompany it. Turn off the lights and light a candle. Turn them off. Okay, y'all. Here we go, right here. Hey, Lena, baby, how you doing? Hey, Red Afro, baby, how you doing? With the cold beer? I do have beer. Okay, thank you very much. Bam. Cold beer, y'all. Cold beer. Okay. Got my napkins right here. Ready to do this, y'all. So let's look at the sandwich one more time. 
I see that sounds right there. Don't that look good? <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Queen. It sounds, oh, it sounds so good. <laughs> Yo, oh my God. The first thing I did when I um put it to my mouth was smell the pickling on the onions. Just a real quick pickle. Mm. If you're going to pickle the vegetables that go on your sandwich, just pickle it right before you, um, what did I be say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just pickle it right before, where's my phone? Damn it. All right, here. Pickle it right before um, you start preparing everything. It's give you the right amount of pickle, not too much, because it's not as pickled as the pickles are. Mm-hmm. But it gives you that slight oil and vinegar taste. Mm hmm. Mm, exactly right. Not your shell style. Mm. And y'all, um, the horseradish, the whole grain mustard. Mm. The salt and pepper on the um, avocado and the tomatoes. Delicious. My husband made me how to make his own sandwich. Let me eat that one too. <laughs> you don't know I'm fat. Mm. Mm <laughs> mm. Yeah, and a creamy avocado, the crunchy cucumber, the tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, the fresh onion. Mm. <laughs> I bet no. I'm not gonna press it again. I'm not gonna press it some more. <laughs> And I dare you make a video about it. I dare you make a video about it. I dare you. Yeah. Pickle the cucumber and the onion. Yeah. Drill and onion. Mm-hmm. And like if you want to really do it up well, it's not and do it like a hoag a hoag style. You can buy some um green peppers and pickle those as well. Fine, right, what well, baby? You're not fat, but <laughs> Thank you, Candy Baby. Mm. See? And that way you don't have to put all that. Mm. Every time you get a little bit of horseradish, was not, oh my God, it sets it off. Because it's this horseradish um, thing, and you know, anytime you have roast beef, you always got to have some kind of horseradish or something like that with it. Mm hmm. <laughs> See, I don't like because if if I did olive oil on it, whatnot, it'll make the um bread soggy. If just pickling the vegetables, you still get that um taste of that dressing or that um sauce they put on sandwiches and sandwich shops without making the bread wet. Mm hmm. It has cheese on it. Has um Munster and um Kobe and Jack, a marble. Exactly, Tracy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's just real easy. Apple cider vinegar, sugar, pecan and salt, um, cayenne pepper, 
and black pepper. So he's that, that little spice. Mm hmm. See, y'all don't want to be playing with these people on this thing. Who else make a sandwich look this, this, this damn delicious? Yes, yeah, try. Let me know how it goes. It's really, it's really easy. <laughs> Kendra, thank you, baby, so much. You're so sweet. Baby, she can afford this sandwich. This is not a five foot long. It's not all that, baby. She can't afford a sandwich. She can't afford the sandwich. You know what I'm saying? You saw she buys turkey legs and I'm not sorry, sorry, chicken backs and chicken thighs. She cannot afford a four meat sandwich with avocado, cucumber, onion, tomato, bib, lettuce, and stuff. She can't afford all that. Mm -hmm. Fail. Something fail. What was it? Oh, paper. Mm -hmm. You hungry? There's levels. <laughs> There's levels to this, baby. Y'all know, even my simple food is always crazy. <laughs> you know, oh, the second sandwich, y'all. Y'all see it? Look at how look the sandwich looks. And I appreciate it, Kendra. I really do, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. I was thinking about this sandwich all day long. Gonna, uh, why was that work today? I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. But One thing that I'm pissed off about, they didn't have alfalfa sprouts at any store that I went to. I went to three different stores today after work, and they didn't have any alfalfa um, sprouts. Oh my God. Mm, yeah, that's good as well, Kendra. <laughs> You can have it, baby. Oh, mm. <laughs> baby, this is so good. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Mm. Mm. Good job. Okay. Monster is your favorite. It is so good. Because it's so mild, but yet creamy. So good. Y'all. Sorry, y'all. The reason I like this so much. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted some alfalfa sprouts, and I didn't have it. It pissed me off. Cause this, but, so that's why I decided to get the lettuce. Because alfalfa sprouts is really good in sound change, you guys. And it's so different. Oh, my God. Had like a light, peppery uh, flavor to it. Sure can. We sure can. The birthday is... Okay, yes. Yeah, Kendra, you know I'm going to throw your party, baby. You have to remind me, though. You know I'm going to throw your party. You have to remind me.
I may even dress up for you for your birthday, baby. May even dress up for you for your birthday. Mm. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. So, if you want more more of the vinegary taste to your sandwich, use the pickling the pickling liquid that you did the um, vegetables in, and drizzle a little bit of that on your, your sandwich as well. But I would suggest that. Um, are you are too, Shantel? Cool. I would suggest that you get a, a, a more crusty type bread that you can that will actually <coughs> sorry about that. So the outside is crusty, but the inside is soft, so it doesn't make the bread too 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 wet. Because horseradish is went through my nose, my, my nasal cavity. 21st? Okay, cool. The horseradish just went through my nose. And baby, it burns so good. Is that how Fabe feel when she's doing cocaine? I'm just asking questions. I don't know. Hey, Nadine, baby, how you doing, sweetheart? Thank you for coming in, baby. I, we built a sandwich, and now we're eating it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just saying. Is that how I feel? And y'all, in a couple of minutes or like an hour or so, I'm going to also come back online and do a painting online with you guys. <laughs> I just thought point. how am I wrong, Betty? How am I wrong? So I'm going to show you guys. I, mean, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it. I'm gonna have to take my take, take my thing downstairs and just kind of put it. Just have the um, laptop um, fold it down so y'all can actually see what I'm doing. Um, I don't have one. When I go out to eat, I try to do stuff that I, I try to go places that I can't do myself, and you know. I really, don't, I really don't have a um, favorite one. But Quiznos. Y'all remember Quiznos back in the day? Quiznos was really good. Oh, I love Sorry. It's a big bug. I love sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Is it gonna last that long, I mean? Is it gonna last that long, baby? No, baby. We don't fight over here. We do wet work. We slice and dice over here, baby. We slice and dice. <laughs> They're sort of horrible, but the food was good as all get out. See, see, I don't play with, with my emotions when I find somebody. It's a whole mess. Actually, it's not, it's not even a mess. It's not a mess. 
the people are messy. That was actually fine. The last part I got into in Atlanta was when I was in college. No. When I was a manager of a movie theater. I had to be the customer's ass. For lunging at me. Okay. Lunge if you want to. Get fucked up in the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kitra says she's been throwing us since the tender age of six, baby. So try if you want to. Your aim has been perfected. You sure have. Mm-hmm. Mm. You shoot for everything. I guess I'm talking about a suggestion of a beer. That soda would have been cute, but this beer is hitting the spot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that sandwich, y'all. Mm. I love being me. I do. Hope y'all love being y'all. I couldn't be no one else but myself. The goods, the bads, the indifference. It's queen. Oh, I love boiling nuts. I normally buy, buy them in a can and heat them up. I like when I'm going through the through the Carolinas. I always go to the Korean store that have boiled peanuts and buy them. The big things. Just take on the road and eat them. Mm-hmm. Fifth time to call for a beer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think it's, I wanted, I was going to make the sandwich with um, like a hoagie roll, but it wouldn't fit all the food the way this um, Marble Rye did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why? Why what, baby? Yeah, this morning I got to cut this morning. I just because yesterday I was at work, my real job, and he was like, "Are you, are you going your hair out?" I'm like, "No, I just haven't had a to get a cut yet, and I'm only wearing a hat, so just to hop a hat, so." See my love, new growth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm. See, I know how to make them. I'm because I know how how long to boil them. You know what I'm saying? But I like them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, baby. So I'm going to clean up the kitchen, prepare stuff downstairs to come um, join with you guys. I told you I have to get everything. I got to separate stuff. Actually, before that, I think I'm gonna show you guys how to make how to make a pattern for gloves. It's really easy, really, really easy. Mm hmm. I, you know I love food. I told you guys I'm doing um, a showcase on talent and fashion. I want people to. I I I, I think I'm I think there's four things that I've done already that I can kind of show you guys how to do it. I'm going to do a um, recycle look because y'all know I did everything everything that I'm gonna show you guys in on my community page when I really announced the um, showcase or whatever. 
I already showed you guys, but I'm gonna put it all together and title it so y'all can know what it is. Y'all remember um I did the um the denim jacket, those were made out of recycled jeans. Then I did um, I showed you guys the um 80s inspired t-shirt, the um the one show t-shirt was not that was made from a t-shirt was that I cut up and put, added some yarn and, and some sewing and stuff to it. That, that was from a t-shirt, so that was like reusable stuff. Then um I, I don't think I showed you guys. I I I did this paper dress that I have downstairs somewhere that I'm gonna, um, that y'all can show how to how to do stuff with paper, with your paper, newspaper, stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you that. And then also I showed y'all the um, straw dress, which is the unconventional material type of situation. So yeah, that's what we gonna do. Okay. Sparkly baby blue. You like um I do this Rocky Roll pizza. It's a a dessert pizza. It's really, really good. You like chocolate? Yeah. The best one in the can I bet is um, it's this yellow can. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but it's a yellow can. It has like green writing on it. Or, or sorry, it's, it's a yellow can with a green label with white writing on it. That's the best ones about following the can. Yep, the yellow can. Yep, you just said it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Those are the best ones to buy in the can. Yum yum. <laughs> She's making a fool lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put all four of those looks together so, 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 so y'all can see how to what I'm talking about when I say like upcycle or recycle something or um transform something something into something else or something like that. Often imitate, Im, imitate it, never duplicate it. Mm -hmm. I had dreads before, well, locks before. I had locks before. I still have them saved in my um downstairs. Cause now they can reattach them to your head. Like if you grow your hair out, they or they, 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 they can reattach the locks. They'll wash them, condition them, clean them, what's not, and reattach them to your head. Oh, and I do have some. I can buy some. I can do some cupcakes. I do have some um food coloring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's hard to do, Miss Queenie. Cause yeah, yeah, I, I, I show y'all my. The clothes I made that I um showed to uh, Mattel. Hold on a second, let me show it. See, this was a presentation I did for a uh, for a Mattel situation, and inside this box, it was. Like a whole design thing. Y'all see that? Oh. 
Yeah, very Chanel inspired. It was like everything was inspired by Chanel. You know, these little cheap dolls changed the clothes and made them very, very chic. Thank you, Kendra. So yeah. Like I said, so, and I sold everything by hand. And y'all see that that was like little, um, uh, in this whole thing, it was basically kind of like a how to sew thing where it comes with um, fabric that you can use on these patterns that I made with them. Second. Uh. What is this? Hold on, y'all. Hello? Hello? Idiots. Yeah, so there's actually extra bolts of fabric in the corners right here on both sides and also put... Yeah. And I also put on um, like instructions in it and patterns like different patterns and was not that you can use to make different things make the outfits that's in here with different patterns and stuff you know just real simple little doll patterns like that you know so it was fun it was a fun little project you know what i'm saying to work with and work on. So like I said, people don't realize what I do. People don't realize what I do. You know, I just come on here and act a fool with y'all every once in a while. I got you, Kendra, baby. But with when I was a child, I was into this bullshit. Sorry, I wasn't into this. I was more, I was more into dancing and acting and stuff. Dancing, acting, modeling. Yes, I did, baby. I was I was into dancing, acting, and modeling and stuff. Not into fashion like that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But yeah. That's what we do. When you're creative, you find different ways to create art, find different ways to create things. You want to die? <laughs> okay, Joe. You're good, baby. You're good. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm on this other sandwich, right? It's right here. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm on the other sandwich. But yeah. Mm hmm. See, with me, I just like creating pretty stuff and nice stuff. Like even with 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 with, with the sounds or whatever. To me, that's art. It's all about eating with your eyes, creating stuff, letting, um, creating what you imagine or what you envision. What is cross stitch random? 
I know what that is, Aunt baby. See, the thing is, even in school, when I went to school for um, sewing class, that I have a whole book downstairs to show me what I mean, based on what the, the um, things that I learn. But I don't sew as much as I want to, or as much as I should, because I don't like doing individual stuff for people. I just like creating stuff, and then if you like it, you buy it. Type of person, I have a lot of clients that does that. But also it depends on what is that you, um, the fabric you use depends on the stitches that you use on the different fabrics. So I'm not gonna sure what that is. I probably know how to do it, but not the name. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is a cross stitch is sewing was not. Like when you can see the it's kind of like this, like when you can see that pattern in the fabric, you see how the, 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 the stitches cross each other. You, when you actually can see that was not, it makes the fabric stronger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like, I'm trying to think, trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. There's something where a crop, like, maybe I don't look up. Exactly, right. It gives more holes to the stitch. Makes it stronger. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You find cross stitches in a lot of hand sewing, a lot of high-end couture type clothing. Because it makes the stitches more stronger. Mm-hmm. Correct, Kendra. Mm. Hey, Empress Blue Baby, how you doing, sweetheart? Empress, I made two sandwiches. This is one of them. I ate that one already. But we made two sandwiches. We ate one. We're just eating the rest of the little. Well, this is the last chip, I guess. No, um. Make sure I say it right because I don't want to say it wrong. If, if so, Kendra will correct me, but it's okay. Also, you can do cross stitching like when you're doing. Um, let's show you something like that. Image it right quick. Oh, this is so nasty. Like when you're doing stuff like this, embroidery. Embroidery also uses a lot of cross stitching as well. You know what I'm saying? Because you're securing that knot into there as well. You know, there's a lot of you use a lot of cross stitching and embroidering as well. So if your painting was not, that's why someone asked, suggested that you do cross stitching for because you can kind of get like you like I the eye that I did. Remember I, I showed you guys like an eye I did. That was um, some embroidery stuff that I was doing. So like it kind of gives you the same thing but more like with um, needle and things like that. Right, you can secure, uh, secure piping with that. You also can secure a hem as well with cross-stitching as well. 
You also, you also um, can secure him with cross stitch and stuff like that as well. And that's basically when you um, when you do that, you grab one thread, like you you sew, then the um that will show you. I can't, I can't even ex explain it. But you like grab one, like you grab one thread at a time to do it, and you kind of do it in a pattern that because when you add just one stitch right there, it doesn't secure. But if you add like multiple stitches by grabbing one thread, it secures that. Um, Fabric there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly right, Kendra. It was definitely used before we had surgeries. And if you have some um, delicate stuff, you use a those pairing, those peaking shears to give you like that um, that little zigzag edge and then you can um cross stitch that and that gives it also security so it won't unravel as well but yeah but i love those because it helps um like it's, it's more used for tailoring and like heavy wools and stuff like that and stuff that easily fray and come apart because like a lot of um wools and what's it called tweeds and stuff like that. If you just cut it straight, it's easily frayed. So if you use picking shears to cut the edges and stuff off like that, especially on hems and things like that, you will get less fraying, especially fabrics that that's easy to fray. I use a lot of picking shears on that right there. Mm, yeah. So fabric that easily frays, you definitely. I definitely use picking shears on it, and I have a lot of fabric that frays. I like it, like even with this um with this little thing right here, this um pink and white black jacket, that fabric e e easily frayed. So I had to um use picking shears on that edge, and I just um sold a um seam, or so not seam, a stitch around it, so that if it frays, that's the look that I'm going for. And it keeps it from coming unraveled and crazy. Distance. Yeah, the lighter tweeds, fabric phrase, they definitely do. They definitely do. But yeah, you guys, I want to thank you guys for joining me um, for this. And when I go live again tonight, I will be actually painting some stuff. So let me clean up this area right here and go downstairs to my sewing area. I see you. To a okay. Oh, they got caught craziness. I will, baby. I, I will respond to your emails. I read it, but I, okay, did she want me to respond to this? Well, I respond to it. You asked me to. Oh, yeah, y'all. Yeah, when I come back later on um, this evening, I will be painting, like I said. I will be showing you guys just a little technique of painting that I'm going to use, so I need to get myself together for that. Um, I want to thank you guys again for being here. Thank you guys for joining me, of course, as always. Give you a little something different, a little different content opposed to the nonsense that goes on in these YouTube streets that everyone seems to be talking about. And I will definitely talk to y'all later. Love you guys for being here. Thank you guys for loving me. But as you guys know, as I always say, it's not important that I love you guys. It's important that you love yourself. You love someone else, you respect yourself, and you definitely respect someone else, you guys. If you haven't liked already, please like on the way out. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe on your way out. I will thank you, Lena, baby. We appreciate it, sweetheart. And I will definitely talk to you guys later. Do you have to paint or illustrate if you're... Um, yes, I do both. I do both. But I'm just going to paint uh, something on some canvas. I want to do, I'll also think about that today as well. But I will talk to you guys later, you guys. And please like the video on the way out. Love you guys. And I will talk to y'all later. Peace, y'all.